doubting him, doubting him. Big up Kopish, big up all the viewers. Uh, keep doubting him and he will keep delivering the chaos. Calvin Nunes. Yeah, I want to just give a big shout out to our octopus, our keeper, AB1. This guy definitely has eight limbs. Yeah, not easy to pass him. Yeah, man, Liverpool free, Southampton won. What a win, beautiful game. Uh, Harvey played well. Thiago, as always. Yeah. Um, little bit worry about Konate, Ibu. These injuries keep happening. No good sign, you know. I don't know what's happening with our players. I hope uh, during this World Cup time they have a nice break and find a solution, find the reason why our players are getting injured so easily. This needs to be sorted and will be fine. I think we'll catch them. Yeah, I believe in this team. We, we made up 14 points last season with City. I think we'll do it against Arsenal. It's just we need to um, just see how how are we going to perform after the World Cup. But I believe in the team. I believe we can do it. We never do it the easy way. Remember that this is Liverpool. We move. We got flat. So we beat Southampton at Anfield. Final score line three one to Liverpool. Prior to the game, I would have taken the score line. So after the game, I'm happy with it. I know, you know, it was just the first half where all the goals happened, um, and nothing happened much in the second half apart from us controlling the game and then trying to stop Southampton's counter attacks. But uh, yeah, overall, I'm happy with this result. Keeping in mind, this is going. This was the last game prior to the World Cup, and uh, yeah, I think. Uh, Southampton could have scored a lot more goals, but uh, we had a world, we have a world, car, a world class uh, goalkeeper called Alison Becker, and uh, yeah, up front I think Darwin was sensational. I think the robot to Bobby Firmino was good as well. Uh, Elliot had a very good game as well, and then Thiago is Thiago. Uh, I do agree with Cal. I think Salah had one of those games where he looked a bit frustrated, um, as in, uh, damn, I should have scored that goal. Uh, you know, he kind of seemed he was a little annoyed with himself, but he didn't have the worst game or anything of that sort. He was still trying to, you know, assist, um, you know, help the team and try to do his overall bits. But yeah, it did seem like he was missing. Uh, he, it seemed like he needed a goal just to, you know, have it as an icing on the cake for him but um yeah look overall happy uh pep linders uh, st uh you know filling in for jürgen klopp jürgen klopp in the in the stadium with uh you know with a mic trying to communicate yeah now let's see what happens uh, once the lads return uh from the world cup and after the long uh, sort of break they get. Hopefully we have our full team uh, back and uh, we can continue this good form that we've been having lately. So of the Reds, big up to Matt Drift and Callum and big up to the Corpish family for sending in their reviews. Keep at it lads and uh, yeah, let's move and see you guys soon. Yes, what are you telling me? Liverpool 3, Southampton 1. And what can I say? I mean, this was a crucial game because we've been doing this inconsistency, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. So we needed to put our authority down and play like we're supposed to play and then at least go to the World Cup with a win. And we have, fair play. Just a sh shame about another uh, other results, one or two other results, but we can't control it. We've made the mess. So it's up to us as a team to clean it. And yeah, first half, smoking. Smokings.
We will we will on Booker T mode. Can you dig that, sucker? Yeah, we're on Booker T's site. You get me that Harlem Heat. If you know, you know. But um, yeah, man, Rubble again. Again, I, I don't. Again, some of you are saying Simakas is better. He ain't better than Rubble. Rubble is the complete all-round defender. Trust me. Rubble's on smoke and Nunes. Like I said, again, the jury's out. I wasn't. Again, I give him time, but. He had a good game yesterday. He was busy, he was about, and his finishes were good. Good finishes. And his, you know, he's the, the left hand side, which surprisingly I thought he would be, you know, be just just be a disaster. He's been doing bits, you know, fair play. And he's on track to, in my estimation, to get his 15 Premier League goals this season. And that would be a representative good season for him. Salah. Was in and out, not really in the game. Should have scored, but something, Salah, something's missing. And yeah, just hope they can pick it up. Bobby, but is Bobby or a beautiful header? I mean, how can these people? I can be left out of the Brazil squad. What Richarlison? Yeah, Jesus, which I know, but and the new striker from Palmeiras. No, come on, man, Bobby. But it's all right. Brazil's lost is our game. The defense again. Fdd Gomez was all right. You know, one or two moments, but he was solid. You know, all the so-called criticism that he's not a Liverpool player just stupid, in it? FVD again, but the problem is in the second half, he let them in too many times. And again, the midfield, and as good as Fab, Fab and Thiago are, they're just not on it. And then the defence is just, you know, and they're just more pressure to the defence. And we need that third man. We need the... A prime Hendo, Genie, someone along those lines that can do the up and down a box to box midfielder. That's something we did in our Feb, and that's the problem. And Elliot, as good as he is and a great assist, he can't do that. So that's something we need to address ASAP and some backup on the wing, then. But you know what, man? We go in. You know, I even, I even I can't remember what our next game is, but at least a win, and we need to this. We need to start building wins. When we come to the World Cup, we need to do in the run like four games, five games, six, seven, eight wins or unbeaten. You know, nine and tens. We need to go back to what you usually do. And hopefully, this will be the starting part. And yeah, and just a little sidetrack to the World Cup. Don't give a damn about England, bun England in it. You know what I mean? Hopefully, Argentina will win it and. My 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 countrymen Ghana will do better than we did in the last the last World Cup we qualified because we were absolutely useless. But you know, big up Kopish, big up the man man like Callum, which I got issue with you, but we'll we'll discuss it, you know, another day. Uh, Matt Drift, big you man's up, and Liverpool three, Southampton one, and I'm out. Well, it's the final prem before the mid break. Um, it's been a while. I think I've said this a um, few reviews back. It's been a while that we haven't got a win on a Saturday since the 9 in Bournemouth. Um, we finally got it. We finally broke the curse. 3-1. Um, going into the game, I have this thought of this um, new manager bounce. How does it affect Southampton? Um, it's different to the Brighton game whereby with Brighton, Graham Potter, it's a next step for him. It's not a matter of um, the team not performing, but with Southampton, the um, gaffer got, um, got the boot and a new manager came in. Um, it's just that the momentum wasn't, wasn't with the, um, the team. So it's advantage to us, to Liverpool. And I reckon, um, although that the World Cup, most of the players in, in this team, obviously Ibu wasn't in the team as well, like Virg van Dijk, um, it was a professional one. Um, there were some moments that, especially direct play, Che Adams was a threat, but in the end, um, Darwin Nunes again, he was... Um, People say um, he's chaotic. I say he, he kept the defense busy and the, the back line for, for the opposition, it was, it was disruptive. But uh, yeah, just to, to point uh, quickly, um, we got the dub. Um, it was a feel-good factor this weekend. 
Um, life has been good. Life has been, especially Liverpool, um, few few strings of wins now. Um, yeah, I can sit back now, relax, and uh, enjoy the World Cup before the uh, the last two weeks of December. But yeah, that's my reviews. We move. <laughs>